Port Escape 110 proof, 55% ABV, non chill filter, no color added. Let's check this out. What's up? Hey, hey guys, guys, it is Scotch for Dummies. Four guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. And look at it might this. be tiny bottles. <laughs> it might be tiny Come bottles. Guys, we're going <laughs> to my wheelhouse. We're going to Port Escape, which is that's your wheelhouse distillery. Oh, it's just a place. It's a gotcha. brand. So this is, this is a brand. city. There is a city of on, on Isla. <laughs> so this is a single malt Scotch whiskey that is from an unnamed distillery. So ah, a, one of those. Yes, Elixir Distillers is an independent bottler that, that takes whiskey and they will put it. They'll create a brand, which I did with Port Escape. Oops. They'll call it a single malt Scotch whiskey. So that means it's from one distiller, but they won't tell you officially who it's from. So there's lots of rumors out there. There's rumors. Yeah. This is this. Uh, we are tonight. We're doing the 110 proof, which is actually 55 percent ABV. Makes total sense. Makes sense to me. But if you look at the website I now, you, brother. All right, I'm they're advertising say. the 100 proof, which is actually 57 percent ABV, which is kind of I don't understand that. Word, why that works? That Essentially, sense. it's a it's um, Port Escape's non-age statement whiskey. They have a 16 and a 19 and some older stuff as well. But this is their non-age That's version, cool. non-age statement version of their uh, single malt Isla. We'll make it work. Huh. Okay. Man, that smells like so, but, a little bit of heaven. You know, to, to make an excuse for their disparity on the website with the, the latest bottling, right? Maybe that's just part of the name. They're not claiming the proof. That that, that proof is Correct. part. You see what I'm saying? This. Yeah. So this is Port Skag Isla 110 proof. That's the name of the entire, you know. Correct. It just happens that 110, 110 is proof the... is 55% ABV. Right, gotcha. Well, and, know, and, and maybe they're working off the point that 100 proof um, liquid will burn. You know, burnt readily with I don't um, know. catch gunpowder on fire, and so anything uh, above that is technically flammable. Every time people try to get cute with the marketing, all it does is confuse people. Right, <laughs> that's true. That's, that's yeah. true. Make it simple. Uh, you don't have to explain it. So, so it's one of those. You know, we don't know what the distillery is, but the rumor is it's a Coila. A Coila, yeah. And I think I saw somewhere like six years what people are guessing. You had mentioned something about the batches, that, that each batch is anywhere between two and 40 barrels. Is that what you something said? Something like that. Yeah. You take that for whatever that's worth. That's their way of saying, get, keep guessing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. How many bottles guess, is this? Right. We're not going to tell. It's so a fat system. We actually have many bottles. We don't have a large bottle of it right. because... These were given to us as samples by... By Port Escape, Port Escape to, to try. Right. Which are distillers. Uh, right. Uh, distillers, yeah. So, oh which, was, which was cool of them because uh, we had run into them at a whiskey fest in Chicago when we were there. And we we hadn't tried anything from their lineup. And, and they were really interested in, in getting uh, our take on their product. Yeah, and, I mean, they're fairly fairly small in their in their reach. You know, they're not yep. global. Well, so. what's this going for then? Like 75 70? bucks is what I saw. Yeah. Yeah. $75. Uh, I, and I, is it even in our market? I don't think it I is. I've not seen it on a shelf. And so I don't know if it's in your market. But if it is, obviously, would love to hear you comment about it and, and hear if you've had it or not. I'm planning um, on going to the, in Chicago at Binney's next week. So let me all take a look and see ooh. what's up there. Oh, wow. What, uh, what coin are we using today, Andrew? Today we are using coins, which are a different number, but they are Scotch and All, Scotch all from on the on same on place. Bayou ah, coins. Different numbers. Fancy, fancy. You can uh, yours too. A Scotch and the Bayou. Scotch, y'all. You, you definitely, they're, they're really cool coins. Uh, I hand delivered these because I went and saw uh, Leanne down in uh, Mississippi uh, last night, actually. It was, it was a good time. <laughs> I hope she's ready for the announcement. Can we just announce it to the world? Right. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the coins are, are in. They, they turned out really cool. So make sure you go check them out. And if you want to get one, get one quickly before they all sell out. Let the good times roll. Lazy le bon temps So on the nose, what do you guys think about this? Honestly, it's... It's richness. It's 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 a balance between <laughs> smoke and um, there's like a an earthy woodiness in there. Yeah, it, it's got mm. more earthy tones to it, but there's a there's like a a tangy quality, like a, a salty briny quality. There's definitely and then there's a briny. sweet underneath it. Yep, like real sweet. Yeah, so, almost like a um, like like a charred meat with honey on it, or something like that. Some kind of yeah. See, I get a cedar tone in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's not like 
I mean, it's definitely sweet on the nose too. I mean, it's right underneath there, like a, like a hint of vanilla almost underlying the the smokiness. Yeah, so it. it looks like I want my Isla Scotch to look like. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's the color that I usually yeah, see I mean, when that, I drink that, an That's Isla. the beauty of of non age statement Islas is their their potency of the peat is just so strong. It's got a nice rolling. Mm. <laughs> taste going on. I mean, it starts out up front with like a, 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 a dry campfire smoke with some salt and brine, and then it rolls into the sweet part of it, so you get some honey, and then it rolls into, uh, it's got a spicy character on the on the finish, so it's got Very like cloves so. and lemon, uh, maybe a little bit of white pepper, um, and then that just kind of fades away, and it, it's just, it's real nice. Um, yeah. I it's wish a, the finish was a little bit longer, but it's it's got. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. Talking. I always wish it was a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching, listening well, to you, and I'm like, oh, I'm well, everything is. But but the the spicy quality. It's also got like maybe some some ginger. Like it's got some like a little bit of punch to it on that spice. There's there. more spice in it than um, I expected. Yeah. Honestly, if I could fix, if I could change anything, I would lay off the spice. And make it longer. Like you said, I want the finish longer and a little bit. I mean, it's pretty peppery. It's pretty spicy in there. You know what we haven't said yet is the ABV doesn't doesn't taste or smell well, that Well, that's high. true. It, you know, 55% well, ABV, you'd expect it to burn. It, it was a little, I mean, the palate was a little burning, but it wasn't nose, like I was expecting. The nose doesn't. doesn't the second do it sip, I, I don't get, ooh, there's a the spice. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the sweetness hung out a little bit longer on the second sip, I thought. Uh, it's weird that the spice comes in. Oh, you know what? So strong at the end. I, I don't get punch. any of it up front. Right. It's really weird. I got a little bit of charred pineapple now on the nose. Well, yeah. I'll Mind you, that, that Ardbeg drum. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, the, the, only better. <laughs> the, thing, the thing that I like about this is the, um, the initial palate is almost like a seaweed or sea, um, like a seafood. It's It's got this... I don't know if it's the brine or I what. I think it's that it's, lemon it's, he was talking about too with a, on the top, I mean, almost like a like a salmon with some lemon and some other stuff on it. And then and then it yeah. Well, yeah, as, as the peat airs disappears. off. Yeah, and then and then, it, and then it kind of that goes away, and you just get into this richness of smoke and like fire. Dill, almost like dill, maybe on the on the spice factor too, like lemon dill. I don't know about dill, but I the spice is kind of calming down. The more I drink it, the less it's coming in and influencing. But that first sip. First two sips really were it packed a punch. Yeah, I like just sitting here and letting it letting it wash because it's got a nice water, it's nice be. long finish. I'm not sure where you guys got a short finish on this because it, well, it's, well, it's, it's a short out. it's a short like potent finish, but the the lingering of the the smoke is there. It, it still I, lingers, but I get the spice a salty goes away. Linger. I mean, it's really linger. salty. Yeah, at the end, the spice goes away pretty quickly. Which normally, when something's spicy like that on on the finish part of the of the scotch. It'll hang out for a long time, and I expected a longer, more full finish with this, because it's an island. Yeah. You know what I mean? And usually, it's a, it's a rolling, gradual decline because it's it's got a lot of body and it's heavy. This one is not. It's still there. Like I'm still tasting my last sip. It's still hanging out, but it's not as potent as I would have thought. And it, it, there's kind of a steep drop off. Um, once you get past that spiciness, like the spice fades, and then you drop down to a, a much lower level, and then that just kind of cruises on out. I love watching that dance between the water and the alcohol when you pour it in. You know, yeah, just it's, it's the best. A, it's like a mirage going in. <laughs> so I, I had a couple drops, um, and you know, on the Ooh, nose so far. Oh, it smashed the nose. It, it, it didn't. It, it didn't do a whole lot for me though. I think but, it smashed it. It's like yeah. on. I don't get anything on it. No, it's still there, but it's definitely different. It's, you, a lot yeah. of that woody smoke is gone, and now it's more of a briny. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Fishy. Honestly, all I smell is that pineapple now. What? Well, do you taste it. And now the palate's definitely changed, too. It's not as, not as um, flavorful as it was. Now it's more it's more edgy, a um, mm, little bit more smoky, maybe. I don't think it's more smoky. Maybe it's pepper I'm getting. It lost... The sweet's still there, but I'm with you. The woody, smoky part of it is kind of gone with the water, and I don't get much of the spice notes. But they were already starting well, to I think tame down. More peppery now. Yeah. I got a pepper burn going on. down my throat. So the the initial palate with water is not as flavorful. I, I'm still getting a, a large bolus of peat and flavor in the middle. I mean, it uh, still builds up really strong, and for me, it's it's still holding up. 
holding out. Uh, my, I'm getting a longer finish on it than you guys are. I got now my second sip after it sat here for a second. I did get a little bit more sweet now than I did before on the palate. Now let that water kind of those molecules move around in there. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm pretty close too. too. All right, All right. Go for it. I'll, I'll go. All right, so Port Skag One Ten Proof. Um, so we're looking at what 70, 75 bucks for this yeah, bottle, yeah. give or take. All right, so you're looking at a undisclosed distillery, non age statement. So those are two that you might hold against it. Um, it's no chill filter, natural color. So I like that. That's two in its favor. Uh, I don't think the price point is too bad for what you're getting. I mean, it's a it's a 55 ABV Scotch, so I mean you're you're getting a little something in the bottle. Right, so I think true. that that's nice, um, especially at the 70 dollar price point. That's not that's not horrible. Neat. I actually in, really enjoyed this glass. Um, I, I like the woody character of the of the smoke up front. It's not overpowering. Um, so somebody that's like kind of starting out into the peatier scotches or the smokier scotches. This one, I think, would be approachable at least. It, it'd be like a training wheels smoky scotch, I guess. Um, I like that it's got nothing lingers so long that it's going to throw you off. So if you were starting out on a scotch, this might be a good place to start. Um, so you get that smoky up front, and then it fades to sweet, and then you get the spice. Everything is very distinctive. There's not a whole lot of rolling together, I guess. Um, so to me, it feels kind of choppy um, in how you're drinking the scotch, but not in a, not in a horrible way. Um, every part is good, but it doesn't feel like they're blended together quite right. Um, and then you get that steep drop off in flavor that I was talking about. And, and so the finish stays around, but it's not, it's not potent like I would think of with an Isla scotch where you've got that like high level and, and then it slowly gradually disappears. This like drops off and then kind of rolls out with like a little bit of flavor. Uh, with the water, uh, I lost the smoke, um, which kind of was a bummer. It really didn't do anything good for the nose. The palate kind of washed it out a little bit. I didn't put that much water on it. It may come back a little bit, I think, but it didn't really do a whole lot. And I would have thought that at 55 ABV that it would have held up pretty oh, well to water. And judging by what I got, I don't think it's going to. Um, so you're looking at a $70 bottle. It's okay. I, I mean, it's not bad, but I don't think it's anything to write home about per se. Um, it would be a good starter scotch. Um, if you get a chance, it's probably worth trying, but I, I don't know that I'd go out of my way to find it. Um, so I'm going to give it a 2.5. I think it's above average. It's, it, they put out a decent scotch, but um, it's missing some character that I think that I would like to, to rate it a little higher. Okay. Well, I can't disagree with anything you said. I'll add my perceptions on it a little bit. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can add as far as the depth of it all and the complexity. Um, I think it's a little too peppery for me and a little too spicy at the end. Um, especially with the water. I gotta be honest, the water really changed this dramatically to me. I mean, on the nose, it, it doesn't smell anything like it did. Um, I don't even get any of that, that, that smoky peatness that I've, that, and I understand a lot of, a lot of Islas, after you pour them, the longer they stay in the glass, the more that peat wafts off. I get that. I understand yeah. that. So, um, I'm not, I'm not going to beat up too bad, but I'm telling you, after I put water on it, I don't get any of what I got on it without the water. Honestly, I get like a pineapple mango on the nose with water on it. That's all I'm getting on it. Um, and I, it's not like I'm stuffed up or sick or anything here. I mean, I'm, I'm getting a good full nose on that thing. Um, the palate, honestly, the finish, it's just super, super, super peppery to me. It's very, very spicy right down the center of my palate. Now, interestingly enough, neat. It was spicy in the edges of my tongue, and, and it wasn't a long spice. But it was strong. It was a punch. It came out of nowhere. Yeah. You're like, all right, man, this is You don't see it coming at all. all of a sudden, and then it catches you with the front, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think um, I'm bleeding out my chest. <laughs> exactly. But so I just think that it's kind of, it's, it's kind of all over the place. With, for, honestly, neat, and, and as soon as I poured it, I enjoyed that nose. The palate was so, so good. I think it was a little too spicy in the end for me. So I... I'm not saying it's bad. Um, I'm with you on the fact that I'm probably not going out of my way for it. Um, I think it's interesting. I love the concept. I love the fact that they're they're putting something out there with of decent quality for you to actually have fun with. But I'm going to say it's just a middle of the road, straight up to, um, for that price point. I think it's worth the price point. I really yeah, 55 no, I, ABV. I think you're getting your money's but, worth out um, of it. 
Yeah, that's I'm 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 too. Mr. Wheelhouse. Um, I think you're wrong, my friend. Okay. <laughs> and let's and let's tell you why. Um, number one, I when I added the water to it, um, it it did bring the nose down. It is I think it is a better whiskey neat. I, I I'll agree with you on that. But I'm not getting a mango or any of those kind of things. I, I'm still getting a rich uh, peated whiskey. Um, my the the finish doesn't trail off like Sean in in my um, palate doesn't trail off like Sean's getting. So if um, it doesn't pale out, what is it? What is it? What is it trailing into? All I got was brine. Are you telling me you oh, get something no, more yeah, than salt? You get, you get a rich peated whiskey. <laughs> I mean, you, the the peat just kind of it's still going. It just doesn't. doesn't Did you disappear. have a different bottle than we yeah. had? Maybe you. One. Maybe you and I had the wrong bottle. I think you must. Maybe, have had the maybe wrong we bottle. got. Yeah, I don't know. So okay. I'm getting. I'm getting a nice long finish on it. Um, uh, see what what could I knock it for? Yeah, see, it could be more more complex. Um, it could hold water a little better. But in general, this is a, a I think a, a unique whiskey in that it does change a lot through the palate. Um, does it do a, do it perfectly? No, um, but it I, it's definitely a good whiskey. Seventy five bucks is a I think it's a bargain for this whiskey. Um, I'm gonna go with a three on it because it's definitely something that I if I saw a bottle I would put it on my bar because I, I it's just it tastes really good and it neat it's great and at 55% ABV it doesn't burn you at all it does get a little, little hotter oddly enough when you add the water I think it just dilutes the phenols and some of the oils in there that kind of coat the palate um, but for a non-aged pita that's this is a good value I, I'm gonna go 3 on it 3 from the wow, dock wow yeah this is for that's a good value I think you lose your title that's all right man. It's his wow. wheelhouse. Okay. Well, I'm, not, I'm just going to be pretty much straight up and easy, and I, I think it's a mediocre scotch, honestly. <laughs> I, I, think it's, um, I think it's okay. I think there's probably things out there. I mean, to me, I'm not a big fan of the, hey, what is it? I don't know. Could it be this? I want to know what I'm drinking. Well, I, mm, that's the difference. You don't want to play the dating game? I don't want to play the dating game with this guy. So. <laughs> da, 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 da. Now we know what we're doing on the live show. <laughs> right. <laughs> So anyway, um, I think I agree with both Mark and Sean. That's why I think Andrew is just in the wheelhouse heaven because he hasn't had one for a while. But I think this is, I think this is, uh, <laughs> I think this is just okay. It's been a long I, time since I had one. Yeah, we've He's got, got Isla goggles on. <laughs> he does. <laughs> got a lot of space size lately. Yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll give you that. I mean, it, it's okay. Um, it's edgy. It's not very well rounded. I mean, it has some potential. You know what's interesting, though, is being so high ABV, I would think I would get more out of it and, and had more water, but it didn't hold that much. It's almost like it's a lie. It's like, you're not really 110. You're faking it. <laughs> you're, you're lying to us. <laughs> Pulls but, off the wig. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm 40. <laughs> <laughs> 40. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's 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 okay. Um, if it, it I, I think it's kind of intriguing to kind of check it out. I'm glad we're tasting it. I like the idea of some of these, but personally, I wouldn't buy it because I want to go buy that Coila 12. I want to go buy something so I know what I'm getting. I think because of this one, mm. and it, you're yeah. okay because you like the Isla stuff. Yeah. I'm more particular about Isla, so I want to know what I'm getting. Overall, for 75 bucks, I think that's probably maybe a little higher end for me for because it's an NES, and I don't know what I'm getting. So I'm going to knock it for that as well. I'm going to give this one a solid, just basic, and almost lower than this, but two. I'm going to go two, straight up two. I think it's okay. There it right. is. Straight so, up. two, 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 five, three. three. Yep. So, two, five, two, three, two. Um, in all fairness, Drew Andrew did say if he saw this, he would buy it and put it on oh, his yeah. bar. When's the last time you did buy a bottle of scotch? Right. Um. <laughs> Are those crickets? Hey, that's crickets. When, when's the last that. time you needed to buy a bottle of scotch? <laughs> I don't remember the exact time. I'm days. just saying. I mean, it could be with uh, the last I know what it was. When it was, was a tan new badge. <laughs> <laughs> buy, buy me a 40 for my birthday? <laughs> okay, guys. What's so, today? Here we got two, five, two, three, two. Port Escape, oh, wow. 110 proof. Um, check it out if you guys can. I'd love to hear if you guys have and what you've got, you know, what you found on it. Make sure you like, subscribe, notification <laughs> bell. <laughs> Sign up for podcasts if you do that sort of thing. Make sure you're here every Thursday night to join us for our live show. Eastern. 10 p.m. Eastern, like clockwork. What else we got? Oh, the Discord channel. Oh, yeah. You're missing Don't miss out, out on the Discord channel. It's amazing. There's so much good conversation with like-minded people who love to have a conversation about this. And with that, thanks for watching. Slime. Cheers. Slime. Cheers, everybody. Slime.
course you are. Hell yeah, you, you are. are. Guess are what? You? We got something to give away. If you want to comment below and say what, gentlemen? Uh, One time proof. How about I dig the wheelhouse? Oh, I dig the wheelhouse, and you will be entered for a chance to win a nice Portiscake t shirt. T shirt from, from Portiscake. So I dig the wheelhouse. We'll see you guys. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, guys.